Hello friend. I have this TP-Link uh, modem router TDW8961M. This is 300 Mbps wireless ADSL 2 plus modem router. And today I am just providing you some information for this product. And this is for ADSL modem router which you can connect with your RJ11 like telephone uh, with the telephone connection. Uh, in this router there is a two antennas, 5 dBi two antennas. There is a fix to fix uh, two antennas which can provide you the more uh, more coverage and you can connect your devices, you can connect your mobile phone, you can connect your desktop, laptop, TV with this ADSM modem router. So uh, this can provide you up to 100 Mbps internet speed. If you have the 100 Mbps connection that you can use this product and which can work for your home network. So I'm um, just providing you the guideline. You can see back of the device there is one power on off button. There is WPS and reset button, Wi-Fi on off button. There is four LAN cable, LAN, LAN, LAN port that you can connect any uh, any cable uh, for your uh, desktop computer and TV or whatever you have the devices which can work with the cable uh, like there is one ADSL port which is only for your internet connection so this is RJ11 uh, cable connector and there is SAP201 VDSL splatter is available that if your connection is only the one and uh, you want to connect uh, your phone line also and internet also so this this platter is available inside the box that you can use it so how it's work first we can put on power on after power on that the second we have to connect it from you can see from splatter for in for you can see there is a phone and there is a internet modem so we can use a modem modem to ADSL router and we have to put in power on after power on this is the line for our internet so we can use line so second you can use your telephone set and telephone set can work and internet also working with this splatter. So this is included with this box. So I'm going to tell you how to configure this device today. And first we have to put in power on, after power on. If you have the laptop or desktop computer, that is good for you to do the configuration. So I'm going to tell you how to do configuration included this device have one uh, rg45 cables which is inside the box that you can connect from any of the lan port to your your laptop desktop pc whatever you have so you can see it i'm going to connect it now after connection we can start a configuration for this device so here we are you can see the main thing is that for cable connection so LAN to laptop or desktop and for ADSL port that you can connect internet cable which is for your ISP so username password for your ISP you have to get uh, internet username password you have to get from your ISP who is providing the internet to you so uh, we can just see what is the login login web page for this device you can see back of the device there is a login login HTTPC TP link uh, TP link modem dot net is available so we are you can open also on this address otherwise you have to go to the setting there 
network and sharing center and you can see what is the IP address for this device. You can see the IP address start 192.168.1.1 this is IP address for this device. So we can just open it here on this div browser. You can see the first page will open like login page. In login page, we can just use a username and password. Username and password also uh, which is written behind the device here, you can see it. There is admin admin. There is written admin admin. So this admin admin you can use and enter, enter the device. And then make sure, uh, one more thing, make sure that when you are connecting the cable for your internet ADSL, you can see the light LED on this device should be the stable. If this LED is stable here, it means the modem and the cable is connected properly. If there is off, this light is off, it means that the cable has some problem and there is a no internet connection between this cable to this modem router. Okay, make sure that the light when you connect the cable, the LED should be on. So now we are going to do the setup. We can use admin admin. and login. After login, the first page will open quick start. In quick start, we can use next. After next, choose the region where you are, choose the region and after the region, you just make it next. After next, this page will open like internet setting. In internet setting, you have to choose the country where you're living. You can use that country, choose the country and I'm not choosing, I'm just uh, using the username and password and ISP don't change anything, just keep it other and connection type, the connection type is a different like dynamic, static, PPPoE and if your ISP is providing on between this uh, connection type, you can use in dynamic, no need username and password and uh, static need some IP setting from the ISP and the PPPoE need a username and password. So we can use here username and password and log in it. After username and password, then you can see there is a VPI. VPI should be zero and VCI five zero. After this setting, we have to make it next. After next, the second page will open for this wireless network name and password. You can use, if you want to change your wireless network name password, you can change it here. So wireless network name, wireless SSID, where you want to connect your devices, your mobile phone or any of the device, either you want to keep the same uh, default, default you can use also, which is written behind the router also. The same SSID, what you see here, that is available here on this device. Wireless SSID, wireless SSID and password is available. If you want to keep it the same, keep same. If you want to change, just remove and retype it again. And then there is a authentication type, WPA2 PSK and inscription, just choose AES and then next. After next, save the setting. After save the setting, you can see here the internet line, internet LED here will be on. And you can see here IP address also. You can see PV, PV, PVC7 and VCI0, VPI50 and you can see the LED flashing and you can see here IP address will be available. If the IP address is available, it means it's connected and when the light is stable, you can use the internet. So let's test the internet. internet is now working and you can see the LED for internet is flashing. So this is the way that you can make the configuration for your ADSL modem router TDW8961N. Here is some features that you can you can check it. In quick setup, quick start, you can see run wizard, interface, uh, advanced setting, VLAN, LAN setting, internet, wireless, 
network name password if you want to see where is uh, your wireless uh, password you can see it here and there is a pre-share key pre-share key is for your password and wireless society if you want to change you can change it from here and there is um, uh, ex advanced setup in advanced setup is firewall and SAP and there is a uh, QoS so VLAN setting ADSL and access management and access management it's ACL and filter filter is available and UPnP is available DNS DDNS available and in maintenance you can see there is administrator if you want to change the valid administrator username and password you can change it here time zone uh, framework upgrade if you want to do framework upgrade software upgrade for this device you can do from here and the reset you can reset and uh, reboot from here also and static status you can see the whole information for this device so this is uh, uh, the setting for this uh, ADSL modem router TDW8961N hope you like my video and please press the subscribe button and subscribe my channel and like my video thank you for watching